in this video, I'm gonna share with you one of my favorite places in all of El Salvador, El Café Telón. And this place, it's a sports complex with restaurants and snack bars and playgrounds, and it's got a little bit of everything. So it does no good to tell you. I'm just gonna show you about this amazing place. El Café Telón is a 12-acre donation to the city of Santa Tecla in 1941. And instead of just boring cinder block, art is everywhere, starting at this special needs school at the entrance to the park. The art styles and artists all over the park vary greatly from modern to playful to anything in between. Every backstop, every bathroom, every wall has bright colorful murals. And if you'd like your own mural, the artists have all signed their names so you can find them on social media. Nature makes its statement with the trees called Palos de Yule. They are huge and great to climb. There is a 1.1 kilometer track that goes all the way around Café Telón. There are four exercise stations or workout zones around Café Telón and they are usually pretty full in the mornings. Also around the track, there are kiosks of everything you can imagine, herbal life, workout clothes, anything that you might need, even bike supplies. At the other end, on Saturdays, are dog training schools next to the dog park. Across the track is a scout house or a scout club with many different pavilions for the scouts to do projects on. This place belongs to Don Quixote de la Mancha troop. In the mornings, there is yoga and Tai Chi. And it only costs a dollar. Across from that is the great big city pools. There's a large lap pool and of course, a humongous family splash area that opens early in the morning for just a dollar. There are two large restroom facilities around the park. Now, it's 20 cents to get in and you have to pay or else you don't get any toilet paper. Also, there's a city garden where the city grows lots of different plants and gives the fruit of their labor to the elderly in town. One of the best parts about Cafe Telon is that they've got healthy food here, which can be kind of hard to find. But, um, for example, this is Eugenia. Hi, hi, good morning. And she has an awesome juice stand called Juana Juice. And look at, look at that price. Awesome. Oh, and yes. so these are the, these are the flavors that she has. I'll translate them for you really quick. This is orange, celery, pineapple, carrot, banana, uh, spearmint, uh, cebula is aloe, pepino is cucumber, ginger, chia, and curcuma. So she also does licuados. That's what they call smoothies down here, is a licuado. And that's the difference because a jugo is just juice. So a licuado, she's got banana and galleta. That means like cookie and uh, in her smoothies, she can put in vanilla or canela is cinnamon. And then this is something kind of cool for your protein is she does, she'll put in a raw egg in your orange juice. And again, either vanilla or canela. Um, so you get your protein boost um, if you're working out and trying to build muscle. Um, yeah, and then the other little thing she does on the side that's really, she does little grilled cheese. And she's got a little foreman. She makes a little grilled cheese if you need a carb load. 
So there's lots of little places like this along the way and they make it, it's nice and cheap. So it's true to just do your workout and then fill up and then head out for your day. And it's awesome. And everyone is super, super okay. nice. Have a nice day. Thanks. And you may be thinking, but is it safe? There's actually security all around the park in all the corners. In the corner of the park is where you get down. At night, they have TikTok dancers practicing routines. And in the morning, it's my personal favorite, Zumba time. On the basketball court. That's only used for basketball at night. The city works really hard to keep the park really clean. In the evenings is when families come out in droves. Everything from the littlest to the oldest can be found. There's an extensive playground on the south side of the park. Across from which you'll find the bike rentals. There truly is something for everyone. One of the best things about Latin culture is that there's no big division among the ages. There's something for everyone and family always reigns supreme. There's even skate rentals. There aren't teenagers in one end and adults at the other. It's all just families, all enjoying it together. <laughs> On the outside of the north side of the park, there are open air restaurants that come alive at night to serve every and anyone. Here you can find hamburgers, pizzas, typical Salvadoranian food, and especially the pupusas. In the northeast corner is a Taekwondo school. Of course, why not? What else were you expecting? And the sunsets are unforgettable, which just makes the whole Cafe Talon experience of family, football, and Latin culture complete. They even have football games for the old guys, the young guys, and even the littlest guys. Cafe Talon is what brings everything that's awesome about El Salvador together. The perfect atmosphere, it's always fresh, it's always like 70s, great natural ingredients for your food, and being outside in this beautiful country with these wonderful people. I highly, highly recommend it if you ever come by, if you ever come by the next time you pass by Santa Tecla and San Salvador. Buen provecho. I'm Jen Ransat. Travel more, live more, be more.